location. Easy, nice slow spinner. Barely moving, barely moving. Here's, here's my buddy. He and I are going to show you going through the basics of setting up a tip-up specifically for walleye fishing. It's a real easy method, combination of a tip-up, rig properly, live bait, get out early ice, catch some walleyes. It's pretty easy. So just a quick little tip for uh, getting the line actually on the tip-up that's going to make it a lot quicker. You uh, get yourself an electric drill like this. You can attach it to the main spindle. I've got my uh, Seaguar thread lock right here, 130 pound test. And you can just kind of lay the tip up down like this and just kind of guide the line with your other hand. Okay, I go from my main line to a snap swivel here. And the reason for that is so I can quickly change out leaders, leader material, either, you know, pike sets, walleye sets for, for different situations. You want to have different things. It makes it a lot easier to, to do that quickly if you've got those other leaders prepared and ready. So I just use a, a straight uh, clinch knot and you can see I got the snap and the swivel there. Now one of the reasons I like to go with the snap as well besides changing the leader very quickly is I like to use these Livingston sound bullets. And in a lot of cases I'll, I'll rig them up like this so it's just a wire form through there so you can just snap it on there quick and then quickly remove it rather than running it in line. It's actually easier to pull the tip ups in at the end of the day. From here now, I need, a, uh, I need a swivel, but I need some clear material. I need high quality leader material. And this uh, Seaguar Gold Label, this is their absolute best fluorocarbon. Seaguar invented fluorocarbon, by the way. They do it better than anyone, but as far as abrasion resistance, strength, to me the invisibility of it is probably the single most important thing for walleyes on clear water. About three to four feet of this. I'm going to cut off and tie on a swivel. And I don't have the swivel ready. Tie out. And then I got to put on, unfortunately, at my advanced age here, some glasses so I can see to tie this. Uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the fluorocarbon is invisible to me as well as the fish. So I need these spectacles. And again, this is just a straight clinch knot here. But whatever your favorite, as long as it's a good knot, you've got good line, that's the important stuff. This 10 pound test, strong enough for bigger walleyes. And uh, get them up through the hole safely. And again, they, they cannot see it, which is to me a big factor. And then as, as far as hooks, uh, you know, some people like trebles, but I actually like uh, these Eagle Claw Laser Sharp uh, Octopus, and I kind of like the color. Uh, I, I like to go with red or chartreuse, and sometimes I play around and see if there's a pattern there, but uh, one or the other, I'm going to go with a red here. Tie that on the other end. And then beyond that, when I complete this knot, all I need is a little split shot, which I generally will run about eight inches above the hook. And after that, all you need is a minnow, and you're all set to go. Okay, here's your uh, slip bobber stop. That's how you're marking your depth. And then we go down to our snap swivel here leader swivel the uh, hook is in my foot three to four foot leader split shot and the uh, 
octopus hook in red for the live bait. Okay, so we're checking the depth here. Clip a weight on the hook. Drop it down. It's gonna be about 12 to 14. Okay, we're gonna slide our depth marker up to about there. That should be about right in this situation. I wanna be two, two and a half feet off the bottom. That's pretty good right there. I'm gonna go up just a little bit. Reel up to your marker. Take the weight off. Replace with a nice wiggly sucker minnow. <laughs> Get him down there swimming around. This one I'm gonna got a Livingston sound bullet right above him. Then we just wait for him to bite. Oh, he's got a bite. All right. That's good for this one. Okay, nice and slow. Shaking its head kind of like a walleye. It is a walleye. Well, that's fun watching them fight through the ice. <laughs> that is cool. Come on, buddy. Look at him go. That's a pretty nice fish. I love this. You generally don't get too much time where you got no snow on the ice. Come here, buddy. Can't get him to come through the hole. There we go. There. Nice walleye. What a fatty. Pretty golden fish. And boy, he had that down quite a ways. Fortunately, not all the way. That was quick. That's why you gotta get to the Try and get to the tip ups pretty quick. Make sure they don't swallow. There we go. Very nice. We're gonna let him go because he's so pretty and fat. There, all we need now is another minnow. And Megan can start catching them. <laughs> <laughs> 